Stop. I'm Janice Stevens. I'm the superintendent for the school district, and I have some partners helping me tonight. Hi, my name is Elena Berger, and I'm the uh, business manager. And I'm Gary Dean, I'm the director of Buildings and Grounds for the school district. I'm Kevin Holmes, former student and uh, architect helping out the district with the, with the project. Okay, so obviously we know our purpose here talking coming tonight. What we're going to do is talk about the overview. We've added a little, just a quick piece at the beginning based on the feedback we have received from other presentations. So we'll do that first. Then we're going to talk about the need and how we arrived at the need. We'll also talk about the vision and then at the end go to the solution. So again, during the process, if you feel you have some questions, please jot them down. We'll try to hold those to the end. You might find the answers in the presentation or in the uh, brochures that are in front of you. So first part is the, the quick overview. We thought it was important to give information that we constantly are asked about, about referendums and how that works. The fact is, when you do a project of this nature, a capital project, a local one, you have to go to the voters and you have to get at least over 50% of the voters in favor of that. There's some misunderstanding that perhaps the school districts can do that in Superior or in the state of Wisconsin without that. I understand that because uh, Minnesota runs a little bit different, but in the state of Wisconsin, in terms of period, on a capital project, we do go to our voters. The other big piece that we hear about is talk, say, tell us right away what is this going to cost. We've done a predictor, very conservative, that our business manager will talk in more detail about. But what's the cost going to be of the big projects that we're talking about? And what it is is 61 cents. Um, $61 per year or $5.08 a month if you own a $100,000 home. And we'll go into more detail because I know all of you obviously don't own a necessarily $100,000 home. So we'll talk about how that, how that changing as well. But the key number to think about is that $61 a year if it's $100,000 or $5 a month. And then obviously adding to that if it costs us more or taking away if it's less. Another thing we were asked about is, so why can't you do this underneath your budget? So I've asked Elena to put together a slide on how our budget um, breaks down that we get from the state of Wisconsin. And of course our budget's not large enough to uh, do these capital projects uh, because we are limited with our revenue that we receive uh, with the state with the property tax owners. Uh, but within our budget, approximately 71% goes towards wages. And then the remaining 29% uh, goes for operational costs, uh, maintaining maintenance costs. So I broke it down even further. And uh, so student services, special ed, it's 13%. Other building departments, uh, they, each building has their own budget. Each department has their own budget to work, for, work with. Uh, maintenance and operations, uh, the buildings and grounds department is about 4%. Technology uh, that seems to be increasing every year with the one-on-one -on -one initiative with the, with the district. And transportation, 2%, uh, and then curriculum and instruction with um, the textbook purchases 